fam, it's your girl CCLV Christina, and welcome back to Reset Wednesday. Woo woo! So, if you are not legit CC fam, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell next to it. Make it ding so you won't miss a thing. All right, let's jump into it. For today's reset, I would like to talk about the subject defrost. There's so many ways that we can defrost in this thing called life. So, let's hop on into it. God put this subject on my heart because we are embracing and we are impacted by the early winter. So naturally, it would be wise for us to defrost our cars before we jet off and go to our destination, right? Especially if it's early in the morning, our cars need time to warm up kind of adjust from the cold and get us to our destination safely and same thing in life that God needs us to warm up and let some things melt off before he takes us to our next destination now the definition for defrost is to let things melt that's like with our food that's with our vehicles what have you so i want you to picture right here at the bitter end of 2018 those things that you got on ice you might be holding a grudge towards somebody you might have been very complacent with an aspiration that you are trying to achieve and you're very icy you're very bitter you're very cold in your heart about it and i want you to allow yourself to let yourself and let God examine it by your process of defrosting. You might be a person that you do need to fall out. You need time <laughs> to soak all those things in. Maybe you need to adjust your attitude. Maybe you need to adjust um, maybe someone you haven't forgave. Don't carry that into 2019 take time to thaw out warm up let god and his holy spirit marinate through you and warm up those icy places in your life because that is that's hindering you from getting to the next place and you need to just defrost honey so you can cook up some good things god can cook up your your destination by your obedience of defrosting i know my mom always told me that when you are bitter you're only hurting yourself so i want you to examine yourself examine those around you and you might have to do some nipping and you know grooming and cutting those weeds out your garden honey but yes you definitely need to take this time to just warm up to mellow your heart melt your mind your spirit and embrace get ready for this new year of possibilities of blessings of favor of new mercies i want that for you all but we cannot thrive and get anywhere in life without defrosting so i know god had put that on my heart for you all for all of us to examine where we might need to defrost accordingly in whatever it could be you know co-workers at our job church members just any place of unforgiveness any place of stagnation any place where you have not allowed god to take full control and for you to embrace a peaceful a humble and a warm christ-like attitude about the situation be obedient and allow yourself to defrost. And I promise you, once you do that, there is no mountain that God will not take you over. There is no valley that God won't pull you out of, honey. If you be obedient and defrost, because just like our food, <laughs> just like our car, once we give it a good, good, good chance to thaw out, to warm up, God is going to be that vehicle to get us to the next destination. We have to be obedient and take that step of faith and be humble enough 
to defrost in the areas we really need to be transparent about and just walk through it mellow through it so yeah i hope you all embrace that today <laughs> as we embark the winter okay and i hope this reset has blessed you and got you over that hump of the week it gave you a boost of encouragement to get on through the rest of the week but yes always remember that confidence is a lifestyle and don't you dare walk out the door without it i love you all so much and i'll talk to you next time all right bye